What's going on everybody? So if you can tell my voice is still not 100% but I wanted to put out a video this week so you're just gonna have to deal with however I sound to you guys. Hopefully it's not too bad. So it's that time of the season where high school kids get ready for that big event in their life. Going to the prom. Now I've only been to one prom and I definitely had a really horrific, epic fail horrible experience and I wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys thought. Back when my prom was, people were talking about it from like January until it happened and it, it was like the biggest thing, like the biggest moment of your life and you know the greatest dance ever. After some thought I was like alright I'll, I'll go. So I asked this one girl and she said yes and then we hung out with the people that we were going to be sitting at the table with and it wasn't all, like I was friends with one kid but I wasn't really close with any of the other people and some of them were like from other grades and other schools and like we didn't really know them that well. I wanted to sit with all of my good friends. Like I, we were all separated so I didn't like that. I didn't really know my date too too well. Like I think we had just started talking like that year and then we were talking about it later and we were just like, you know, this isn't going to be fun. We're not going to be sitting with our friends. Like let's just not go. Next day after school on instant messenger, I start getting yelled at by this girl's friend saying, how could you do this? Why did you back out? She was all excited. She had her dress, blah, blah, blah. I was never told that she had her dress. She mutually agreed with me to not go. I don't know where that all came from. Then I'm like feeling bad that I crushed this girl's dreams. I knew my one friend didn't have a date yet, so I was like, all right, why don't you go with her? And that way she'll go and not be mad at me anymore. And so that was all good. So then I was like, you know what? I still kind of want to go. It was like getting really close. So I was like, I'm just gonna ask this one girl, you know, if she says no, then I just won't go. But she ended up saying yes. So we were all ready to go. Um, I was still going with the same group of people. We were also in their limo with them and we had paid our uh, $50 deposit or whatever. And the night before prom, we get a phone call. The limo that we were gonna use crashed. Yeah, that's right, it crashed. I don't think anyone was hurt, thank God. But the one girl who was like in charge of it, she goes, yeah, and the only limo they could give us was a four-person limo. Now, we were going as a group of six. A four-person limo? Isn't that just a car? So I was like, there's no way we can squeeze two people in. I mean, I'm I'm not a huge person, and my date was is smaller than I was. Like, we could, we'll sit on the floor, we'll sit on the trunk, I don't care. No, can't fit you, goodbye. And I never got my $50 deposit back. So I paid for some of their limo, or whatever it was that they took, a car, basically and I didn't get my money. So I knew that my friend was taking my ex date. They were just driving by themselves. So I ended up driving in a pickup truck with my date, my friend, and my ex date to the prom. The entire car ride was silent. It was just, it was so tense, it was weird, it was awkward. I was just like, I need this day to end. The dance was actually pretty good, I guess. So now afterwards, for whatever reason, we were going to be staying at my other friend's girlfriend's house. I can't remember why it ended up being that way, but uh, again, it was another like awkward situation. My date didn't really know any of them. You know, I wasn't really close with many of them either, just the one kid I knew. So that was kind of awkward. We're in this random girl's house, like we're just like standing there like, what do we do? And um, we stayed over because uh, the next morning we were gonna go to Dorney Park. Thankfully, something good has come of this. After all that madness, the drama, the limo crashing, the awkwardness, driving to the prom in a pickup truck, I at least get to go to Dorney Park. I was actually scared of this one roller coaster there, and I know, I'm like, you know, how old was I, 18 or whatever. My date actually got me to go on the ride, and then from there on out, I was like so like into roller coasters. I've been on um, King Da Ka, which is like the biggest roller coaster in the world, I think. And um, so that was kind of good. We actually had a fun time at Dorney Park, and prom was just, uh, it was an epic fail for me. It's out of the way. Never have to, you know, think about it again. So I want to hear from you guys. First of all, um, I know you're all different ages, but any of you who have either been to prom or who might be going to a prom in a couple years, like, how do you feel about it? Why is it hyped up so much? Like, do you, do you care at all? If you have any funny or fail stories to share about your prom, definitely leave them in the comments below. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you're not. And like I said, leave a comment. I always comment back to everybody. And um, that's about it. I'll see you guys next week.